So going into this fight, Tyson is the WCWA and IBF champion. Yes, sir. He's got all the controversies going on, but his last fight was a 93-second knockout of Carl the Truth Williams. So they are considering this Buster Douglas fight to be basically a warm-up to face Holyfield. This is this is fairly That's exactly what it was. So once again, how does Douglas get this shot when when I'm not a boxing expert, I'm reading here, but Ring Magazine, which at the time, like wrestling magazines, was very important, very influential. He was ranked number seven. He's a 42 and one, like you said, underdog. How does he get into this fight in the first place? Are they looking for a warm up to build up some buzz for Tyson Holyfield? And this was just supposed to be the bridge in between? That's a great question. What happened there prior to the fight is that Holyfield and Tyson could not come to terms on negotiations of their fight. Oh, wow. Yeah. And there wasn't many available opponents, to my knowledge, to actually go into this fight. And Buster Douglas seemed to, on record, it, he was willing to go over to Tokyo and obviously get paid his million dollars. Because I think Buster made $1.6 where Tyson made six. And so what happened was they couldn't really find a way to make Holyfield and Tyson work. Gotcha. And I think that Holyfield aftermath was really pissed because he's like, man, I'm going to make less money. I would think <laughs> Buster Douglas than I would fighting Mike Tyson. You know, Holyfield went on to bust up Buster and then also beat up Mike Tyson. But that's another story for another time. I think Buster had a great game plan. The thing about this fight that stands out the most is a lot of people will say that Mike, you know, might have been banging hookers and doing coke. And yeah, sure, he probably did. Whatever. I can't confirm or deny that again. But Buster Douglas is uncredited for how well he fought in that fight. Mm -hmm. And my thing is that I think that Buster should be way higher regarded to how great he did chab used um his length moving around mike tyson and not having fear look look at everyone feared mike tyson everyone feared mike tyson hmm. people would be lost in the ring like they would lose before they even got in the ring they'd lose in the dressing room right right they'd be intimidated by him and then be mentally psyched out before the fight even started exactly and I thought, you know, Buster did an amazing job at cooling Mike down, cooling his jets, jabbing, everything that he had to do to galvanize himself from his mother's death. Like, there was a lot of passion in that fight. Like, I saw a lot of passion in Buster Douglas. Like, he never looked better. That was his peak. That was his high point. Where Mike fell short. And this is where Buster also rises and shows a lot of great things is that Buster actually exposed the game plan about how to beat Mike Tyson, how to bully the bully. Well, and, and let keep that thought because I want once again, so Buster here is 29, he's almost 30 and Mike is 23, like we said. So there's a little bit of a difference in, in age here. And basically Buster was expected to uh, lose in 90 seconds or so. Actually, it says that, uh, I like this one. When asked by a Japanese customs official how long he expected to be working in Japan, Ed Shiler of the Associated Press replied, oh, about 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys, everyone was going in there like, oh, this is just a, a bridge thing. But what you did mention, and you can neither confirm nor deny, but Bobby Brown, obviously the the, the singer Bobby Brown, he wrote in his autobiography, he met with Tyson in Tokyo and the two partied extensively the night before the fight. And Brown claims Tyson refused to go to sleep early for the fight, deeming Douglas an amateur that he could beat if he didn't sleep for five weeks. So even Tyson is going in there with no care in the world. And once again, let's hypothesize here, Johnny, you're a boxing expert. And, you know, I've been in the, sh in the business for 30 odd years. And if I was on that type of role, that Tyson was, and you have this guy that you're expecting to beat 90 seconds. I might have stayed up partying all night too and went, ah, who cares? Like you just mentioned, my worst night is going to be a thousand times better than this tin can's best night. 
Do you think there was some of that element going on? And do you believe what Bobby Brown said here on this night? There is no doubt in my mind. I was kind of like hinting at this before, is that everyone's telling you you're the best boxer in the world. You're invincible. You have yes men around you. Right. You know, that new corner in Tokyo was not the same corner that was capable of putting on end swells like I was talking about. They're like, we got Mike Tyson. We're going to f*** everyone up. It's not going to matter, right? Yeah. 